welcome back to to the Breeze Shooters. Uh, another episode here with the fellas. Don't worry about it. <laughs> have a little technical difficulty in the background. Um, so uh, uh, let me introduce everybody in the room again. We got Chris. Uh, Will and Lou, you forgot our names, man. Yeah, you, know, you know what it is. I just had the keto meal, and I'm still. Oh my god! I'm right now, I'm you got in the that. Itis? You got the itis? I, I got the itis. Oh my I god! I got the itis. It doesn't help having this Modelo here. <laughs> uh, He's in a carb with <laughs> carbohydrate withdrawal, withdrawal right now, so mm-hmm. he can't speak right now. Uh, Modelo, we do drink your beer. Right now, we could perfectly put you in right here on the spot. <clears throat> Sponsors. That's uh, the dark. That's the dark, right? That's yeah, that's the dark. Modelo Negra. Mon- for for those who think that we're racist, we drink black beer. Oh, <laughs> thank you for clearing that up. I, I wasn't sure if they knew about that, but thank you for clearing that up. It's cool. No, because you make me feel a certain type of way when I speak about bangers and 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 and, and weddies. Weddies are the Mexicans. You know, it, 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 I, I'm not trying to. I'm not a racist. I just. I, those are my lovely, lovely nicknames for for my fellow people. Really? Yes. You see? You okay. see? Okay. All, All right. I need is a little bit of time, and things will come together. Uh, people in podcast world, just understand the views and comments that come from Chris Soto are solely Chris Soto's and are not shared Whoa. by the entity of Breeze Shooters. Oh, a little disclaimer because I, I just, I just see where the podcast is going today. There's no need. I just, I just see where it's going. There's no need for a disclaimer. I just said I love my peoples. You love you. All right. I'll just, I'm just put it out there. You make me feel a certain type of way, like I'm doing something bad, like you know. But it, like it's, it's you know in, in, in Puerto Rico and de cariño like you know we do it out of love out of baggers love. weddies what's it, what's it? You know. is, it, is it the same like when they call a fat person gordita there you go gorditas Gord- you know about that no, I, 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 I never I've never heard such a term <laughs> you know you could you call a you know a a, a, a a, a, a lady with a, you know with, with, with a little bit extra poundage, gordita, yeah, yeah, yeah. and but, it but, sounds cute. But let me ask you, Ay, gordita linda. But gordita doesn't gordita tra- you know? doesn't gordita translate it to a fatty? Now, if you say that, hey, you might get smacked by somebody because no. a fatty uh, in English could mean that she got a fat booty. You're, you're saying a fatty? No, a chubster. That's a nice Wow, one. and you think a woman wants to be referred to as a chubster? Hey, chubby, come over here, baby. <laughs> but I just say, hey, chub rock. You, <laughs> no, see, drop a hard, there you go. hard 16. See, <laughs> as, as we talk, I realize that the tone has everything to do with it. Really? Yeah, see, your tone, you're going to get slapped. What about, so <laughs> let me hear your tone. So how are you? How hey, are you, how are you, how are you <laughs> hey, chubby, baby. <laughs> You, you just sound like you're talking to a fat girl at, at, at McDonald's working the fries. Oh my god! And, and you do that too because I can see you working fast food joints. Wait, wait, talking about fast food. What about White Castles? Oh, uh, man. White Castle. classics. White Castle, White Castle, White Castle, White Castle fucked up my my, my, my my digestive system. Oh really? For a lot of years. No, but I kept going back. I, 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 yeah. I never learned. You thought it would, you thought it would correct itself right now. <laughs> Detox. Let's go to White Castle. Let me tell you. A night out is not complete until you made your way to White Castle. And you had four murder burgers with cheese, onion rings, and fries. And that was just to absorb all the alcohol you took in that yeah, evening. Yeah, look, because I'll be honest with you, I've, I've been to White Castle with you a number of times, and you never ordered four. Yo, why, why are you throwing <laughs> <laughs> Give me a suitcase <laughs> Yo why are you putting my stats out there Yo White Castle just closed down My stats go with grandma and White Castle <laughs> You want to hear something funny you, you know what I was thinking about White Castle closed down A year after you moved out of Brooklyn <laughs> That's, there that's, has to be a connection. Yo, yo, yo you're, you're an asshole. But you know what? That That's called respect the loyalty. You want a funny story, though? I was in freaking first grade, PS131, right across the street from White Castle. Okay. My fucking sister used to work at White Castle. She was at the cashier. Oh, my God. I could just So see. every morning I had to go in there. I had to fucking haggle with this lady for a free free burger because they were watching her. So she... <laughs> So one time I went up there I said, yo, um, yo, Letty 
and I gave it a nod. I said, you know what's up? <laughs> I threw a dime up there, right? <laughs> and, and mind you, I'm a little shorter because I'm yeah, in the yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, I see that dime fly back out. I say, yo, what's up? She's like, get the fuck out of here. You know? <laughs> so that's my, that's my one fond memory of White Castle. Oh, I never God. let my sister. I just, recently, like three weeks ago, I was telling her about that. So oh, yeah. you, you know, you're fucked up. How, how, you, how you gonna throw the dime back at me? That's fucked up. Letty, 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 letty's cool, man. Yeah. You know, it's funny about White Castle. It reminded me, it reminded me, um, one day we, we, it was like three o'clock in the morning, man. And it was me, you, Willie, and I had, I got, I, there was somebody else, but I don't remember right now, so it, it might be a, irrelevant. But we go there, we're, we're drunk, and we start ordering. <laughs> and as 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 we're waiting for our food, there's this white kid mopping. I don't know if you remember this. There's this is white kid <laughs> mopping, and I look at him. <laughs> I look at it, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm about progression, I'm about positivity, I'm about to put in that out there, you know, speak it to existence. So I told him, I told him, I, I'm trying to remember his name, I think his name was Brian, I'm, I, I might be a little bit off on it, but I said, listen, what's your name? And he said, Brian, and I said, Brian, listen to me, how long you been here? He goes, I've been here three weeks. I said, you know what, that's long enough. <laughs> you you want to work fries? And he looked at me with, and I saw, yeah. I saw. So the ambition. Yeah, his eyes. <laughs> and I said, Monday morning, report to Fry's. I'm going to call corporate. <laughs> Are you really serious? Yeah. And I said, just listen, don't question me and report yourself to Fry's. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good. After yeah. that, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> for, for the listeners out there, just say that next weekend when we went into White Castle, <laughs> we didn't see Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker probably went in his head. I demanded me on fries. <laughs> I talked to a corporate dude and he told me. Soto, yeah, he said I'm gonna charge a fries. Oh man. I was you no know, but it was it was it was it was the thing and and the thing with the with, with going it was it was like a it was part of you wouldn't like you said, you wouldn't end <laughs> you wouldn't end the night unless you went to White Castles in Sunset Park. Yeah. It was either this one right here on, on Fort Hamilton or the one down there in uh on twenty on Fourth Avenue, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, you know, I, I'm going down this avenue of fast food because, you know, you're my boy, Chris, and I got, uh, I got mad love for you. That's the disclaimer. Here we go. Mad love. Uh-huh. Me and Willie, we were talking. We we're like, you know what, man? Ugh, we gotta, we gotta get, we gotta get Chris up to the suburbs. How are we gonna do that, Willie? Willie's like, maybe I can find him a job, you know, at the hospital. I said, yeah, but will he? He don't have the degree to be a surgeon, but I do know what he's good at. Willie goes, what's that? I said, eating. <laughs> so I come across this ad, Domino's Dream Job. It's on the paper. They have jobs now. I want your intake on that. I oh, want your, your yeah, feedback yeah, on this. Yeah, of course. As garlic bread tasters for Domino's. They said it's the dream job for anybody that loves to eat. And right away, I thought about you, and I submitted an application, and I'm hoping, you know, you get a call back. I know you're going to kill the interview. No, no. It's probably eat like 10 loaves of bread, and I know and you could do that. I, you know, this is when I know that uh, um, the love, the love, Yo, the love. I, I want to do that for anybody, Chris. No, no, I know this. I know this. And, this is, and, and you know, when, when, when you pass on an opportunity that you know you're damn well good at, to pass it on to me, you know, that makes me feel special. It's sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That, that, that's a true thing. Wow, it really is a true thing. They even gave it a title, Chief Garlic Bread Oh, Taster. Chief Garlic Bread Taster. Ta- no, like no, 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 no. I, I don't like want you, titles. No, no. You got to work your way up to that, Chris. No, You're no, going to no, start no. the ground level no, like no, anything. No, no. I'm an experienced eater. I don't... I don't <laughs> If I don't get the chief title, I don't. I don't want it. I'm just like get him white cats. He's got to start off with a <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, God. I came across that, Chris, and it just brought me a, a nice laugh. I thought about you. I said, yeah, that, Chris is going to get a good kick out of this. That's bananas, though. That's, 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 that's crazy. But you know what? In all industries, though, in all fields, they do have taste. This is just yeah, not but something that's... They sound good. But they're, they're I think, not offering it to the public. Right? Yeah, usually these guys are trained professionals that have a, a palate for this type of stuff. So, in the news... 
Have you guys been keeping up with the six nine Takashi news? The oh, trial. That guy's the a trial clown. of the, the, the trial of the century. That guy's a clown. I I, I think I'm getting more. I get, I'm getting more. I'm getting more uh, information of all the memes that they have in the video. You know, they're, they're killing him. On the yeah, they they're really killing them. Kill but him. he, the kid, the kid. All right, so let, let's let's look at the facts here. So he uh, apparently the feds they were monitoring the behavior. Of him and his alleged gang and, and, and his crew, and there was uh, there was a lot of uh, crazy shit going on. He personally testified, I believe, to uh, I think three gun gun charges and uh, robberies. Right, I think in total they, they like they, they they broke it down. I think it was March second, April third. Within that time period, he he he, he, um, he was involved in like three armed robberies. And he confessed to that. However, the crew that he was running with, they were doing like uh, they were they were they were selling drugs inter interstate okay. and stuff like that. And they were involved in some other stuff. And he was in he was in he was involved in these meetings and he knew everything that was going on. However, so I guess the feds came to him and they they, they gave him this opportunity to uh, to testify against his crew to get a lesser sentence. Now, with that being said, is he really a snitch? Because my understanding was he wasn't really part of the crew. He's a, he's a snitch, you know. It doesn't, he, I, I understand that. No, no, but I, I think you, I, I guess you got to go back to the beginning. So what happened was he, he was trying, he had, this, he had this hit song that he knew could do well. However, he wanted to spice it up. He reached out to some people. He goes, hey, can we get some bloods on the video? And from there, the, the blood members... They, they, um, I forget, I, I forget his name. I uh, understand all that. They said, hey, you know what, there's, there's money here. So they they both saw an opportunity. They both used each other. Yeah. So technically speaking, he wasn't with the Bloods. It was just a mutual business agreement. Snitching is snitching. If it's, if I know you for, 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 for 20 years, or I just did business with you, and it, it took a wrong turn, and I decided to drop the dime on you. Snitching is snitching. No. Okay, you're right. You're right. But I guess I guess my question is the code. How could you how can you be held to that code of snitching if you're really not living that life? But he, that that this is really this happened on 2017, two years ago. But he he was he was he was he was he was, he he was, was doing that. Funk. He was doing that to to promote his brand and to grow his brand. But he wasn't really about that life, though. I think I I, I honestly, if you really so, have to look at it, so I probably look at the guys that were involved in these activities, and I think they were at fault for letting him know what was going on because. They knew he wasn't about that life, so they probably gave, let him know too much information. But he, no, wait a minute, he did commit some crimes with no, them. With them, yeah. That, that's what he. That's what he. He's pretty much, you All know, right, alleged. So yeah, but I, I don't know how involved was he. Was he the shooter? Was he holding the gun? Or was he just there? You, you, you know, you've been in the streets long enough where you're around guys. Shit is going down. You're there, but you're not the gunman. You're not hurting anybody. You're just there. You're a witness. Hey. Well, according to the report, it said that the rapper said he was also. He also helped other gang members to rob people at gunpoint as part of the pledge by new gang members to commit at least, at least two, crimes. two crimes. So he did, yeah. he did, see, he did, yeah. he did join the gang. He but I just, I just don't see it. I don't, I don't, his involvement, I don't know. I think he was more there. But where he is going to get in trouble, though, is that he paid for uh, for somebody to shoot at a rival? Uh, I think the key, chief key for chief whatever. Key, yeah, and, and and in his statement he said, "Oh, I paid uh, for somebody just to kind of scare him, not even really to shoot, to kind of yeah. shoot at him to that's scare still, him." Still, still attempted. See, that's just all this, is, all this music. I, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I have I never heard a uh, six nine song. No, that I, gumbo song is good. I, I got to give it to him. Oh uh, yeah, it's a good song. I don't, I don't, I don't. I just uh, uh, the Fifi with Nicki Minaj. I think it also took a little bit. Yeah. I just, I have a problem. Uh, <clears throat> I have a problem with 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 these with these with this. This is, I can't even call it music. No. This is, it's horrible. It's it's horrible. Maybe you know I'm stuck in the in the eighties and nineties and and you know I'm um, but this is, to me this is all. But regarding that snitching stuff, a snitch is a snitch. Yeah. Now, mind you, at the end of the day, how much loyalty does he does he does he uh, does he really have to give these people? You know, how much loyalty do you have to have to show? 
At yeah. the end of the day, I heard that they they kidnapped they, they were they kidnapped yeah, him. They they kidnapped him. Yeah. So you know, at, he still he become a favorite witness. No, no, but now you just touched on what I'm saying. So at what point do you uphold that code? When I heard there was rumors of guys in the crew having sex with his lady, uh, they they attempted to kidnap him. They were stealing money from him. So at what point do you kind of have to separate yourself and be like, listen, I gotta look out for me. Am I really going to go down for the grand scheme of everything that's happening when I know I only might have participated? And I'm just playing devil's advocate no, here because I understand I where you're coming. Yeah, yeah. We both come from the same place. If you partake, you stay quiet, exactly. and that's just the rules of the game. But you he know, looked it out for himself. And he made a move. Yeah. At the end of the day, he made a move. Now, I guess the bigger question is: it could he rebound from this? Can you think that? I think safety comes first thing that pops in mind. Can he walk the streets anymore? Or does he have to go under a witness protection plan? I think that um, he could rebound because he has he has followers. And if he puts out a good product, as you said, that he has a couple of songs out yeah. there, I think that But he, you think do you think rebound. the kids do you think the kids still want his music though? These, after no, these after, kids our days are Lou, we were talking about that. These kids these days, they don't they don't have the same mentality we have. We wouldn't fuck with we wouldn't fuck with this dude ever again. We wouldn't even want to hear his. Uh, I found out about the R. Kelly shit. I don't want to hear R. Kelly's music. You you threw out his CDs. I'll take. I burn them. I oh, burn them, Lou. Oh. No, if I can't, no. This fucking guy, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Yo, so my question is, how would this guy go on the witness protection? What all those tattoos on? They already said they're gonna remove. They're they, gonna they, remove. Yeah, he went to remove the tattoos, cut the hair, totally change everything. Now, you know what's an interesting point? Chris just brought up the R. Kelly stuff, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want to listen to his music anymore. Not at all. Do you feel the same way about Michael Jackson? Ooh, I, I, that's a that's great. Tough. That's, that's tough. a great. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't feel the same way because I don't think Mike ever. Mike ever. I don't. I don't think they never proved nothing on Mike. No, you know. You know what's the difference? R. Ke- with R. Kelly, you got video footage showing you doing and witnesses. The act, yeah. yeah. And it's With just, Mike, and it, it was, was kind of just. just yeah. How does that mean? They, didn't they put something up on uh, HBO? Yeah, on they, I haven't HBO? watched it, but they say they say it's not. No, they say it's not good, but then it was tested. What are you talking about, the Michael Jackson? Right? Yeah, yeah. It was on Netflix, but then they came back after it was released. They said that uh, some of the stories that were told from the young men at the time that were yeah. molested, supposedly molested, that they didn't it didn't, it didn't cooperate. Yeah, there you was go. there was some holes, but but how, how I think you, Michael Jackson was just more beloved. By mainstream, that's why I think I don't. I, I think that there's a little more forgiveness. I'm not saying it's right, but I just think I when just, you take R. Kelly, R. Kelly's more urban. I don't think uh, he was big. Some of his smashes were big, but I just don't think he's beloved by everybody like Michael Jackson was. Michael Jackson is a fucking no, icon. But wrong, wrong is wrong. No, wrong and, is wrong. And, and you're talking to I, like I detest like I I. Really, I go to a dark place when you talk to me about pedophiles and stuff like that. I go to a real dark place. But, and and like I said, when I first heard it, I didn't like it. But then I'm thinking, where's the proof? You know, where's the, where's the, you know. So it's, it's just hard. Now, with R. Kelly, I used to love his music. And when I saw this uh, surviving R. Kelly thing, yeah. I'm like, this guy is a, you know. And then and mind you, just, that surviving R. Kelly was after the first video was released. Yeah, of course. Because that first video, you have him urinating on the young girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, And exactly. it's just some false. But the dude was definitely sick. And, it, and once you saw the documentary, you just knew all the sickness that was And happening. now they say, with the last thing that they say, they say it's so, it's, they didn't want to show the, because the, he has a, a sick motherfucker has I don't know how many tapes now we're going past the surviving R. Kelly so it was they didn't want to taint the jury so what they did was they wrote transcripts but they're very descriptive mm-hmm. and in the description oh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, t- he's telling that he's oh yeah this is some good 14 year old yeah. so it's sick you know so personally me like I said great question Will brought up but I just with Mike and uh, I just would like there's no proof like there's no R. Kelly there's proof and he was you know with Mike Mike had Macaulay Cook and all all of you know all, and Macaulay never said you know said anything like like he's he, everything is he never said that or even he said Mike 
treated him beautifully, like he, nothing at all. Yeah, but you know the, the difference. The Home Alone kid, you know the Home Alone. Yeah, kid. but you know the difference. Macaulay Culkin, he legs all those traps. Mike couldn't catch him. He's probably chasing him all those years and couldn't find his ass. <laughs> You saw, you saw what he did to Pepsi. <laughs> you know what? That, that, that's good. That's so, good. <laughs> so, all right. So you see six nine. Uh, you know, I, I, I want. I'm interested in seeing how that plays out. Seeing if the if he could recover from that. The problem with Probably that. Not. The problem with that is also that 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 we'll hear about it now. And it'll die down. It'll die down. Yeah, and going to witness protection and, and and unless he fucks up. Like the 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 the, the gaudy snitch, uh, Sammy the Bull. Sammy the Bull does selling you know, ecstasy. Ecstasy in Arizona, <laughs> ecstasy ring, and this motherfucker was an informant. You know, unless it happens something like that. But I believe it or not, with the way the way this this this, this era is, the kid who put out another hit song and make tons, and nobody will remember. You know, nobody will remember they snitched or. Or, or any of them, like, oh, they won't care is what I should say. You know what, I, I do agree with you. It, it would be easy for him now in this era because you could you could, you could make a song from home and just stream it out. Stream it out. But the problem is, though, if you really want to see the payday, you got to tour. Yeah. And then that's when I'm, that's when his life is it's going to be up in the air and ah, in jeopardy. It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just, to me, it's just uh, it's, 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 it's crazy, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. So um, moving moving along in the news, I see my boy Clay Thompson got a massive contract, one hundred ninety million dollars. So uh, congratulations to him. What do you think he's worth that money? He's that de- he's definitely worth because see, I, I learned this. I learned this. It's, it's, it's crazy because I learned this with Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas uh, um, has a has a great podcast, by the way. He um, he speaks about when he got his hundred million people. And then that's after he got his hundred million con- contract, he started getting hurt, and he started, and, and not long after that, he had, he retired or whatever he got. Yeah. He didn't get that hundred million for that year. He got that hundred million for what he had played already. He got that hundred million. You, you don't get paid like when you go to your job and you you know, listen, I want to raise. They'll go look and they'll look at, at your performance review. From the last three years, oh yeah, his productivity has been uh, um, rising. So yeah, you know what? He does deserve a pay raise. Yeah, but we're yeah. not talking about the future. We're talking about what you put in already. Yeah, but you know what it is. You're Expecting no, that you're gonna keep keep rising. Yeah, that you're gonna maintain that. But your stock goes up. You put in the work, and your stock goes up. And then um, what's his name? Green also got a, I think a six figure deal as well. That was. I mean, um, Hundred million. Hundred million. That was that was um, that was more. KD left. The the other guy, uh, uh, Eagle Dollar. You know the the the, the that the, nucleus. the core. Yeah, they had to it, keep it together. They had to keep it together. Because if you ask me, Green is not worth the hundred million. I think. But in that system. Yeah, he works out yes. perfectly. Yeah. You put him someplace. You put him in the Knicks. He's not worth no, no, a, I, I, a, a G League contract. I, I could take him in the next. No, see, but that's that's see, that's because your expectations are low, Lou. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yes, that's, that's your problem. Your expectations are low. I, 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 you know, it's 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 um, it's uh, it's. I just he's just not he's just not. I don't think he's worth that that money. But once again, in the did. situation that he's in, and he won what two championships, three championships, no, three. And he's, you know, he gets these triple doubles. He, you know, he's in the right system. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you, Do you think these role players, like these stars, like uh, Clay Thompson and uh, Steph Curry, will be just as good without these role players? Uh, I think they'll be just as good. Now, no. a different, a different. The no, team, no. no, they'll be good. The team won't be as good. Yeah. Clay Thompson will put up the numbers. Curry will put up the numbers. But they won't win championships, or they won't. They won't. Be, they won't have in the the same amount of wins. Is what I should say. Because look, look at all. Look at all your dynasty teams. I think of, for me, the best example is the Detroit Bad Boy Pistons. There was only two stars on that team. That was Isaiah and Joe Dumars. However, you had Bill Lambeer, you had Rodman, and you had Mahorn. Sally. You had Sally. They all did their part, and then you had a. You had uh, the microwave, Vinny Johnson came yeah, off yeah. this thing. But it was just having good role players. They understand their part, and they play it to the T. They do it well. But, uh, you know, I, so I think role players are good. And I think they also make star players better, believe it or not, because you you got a dirty guy like, like Lambier to set his screens for you, 
that opens up. See, you're not a shooter. I understand. I'm a shooter. I was about to say that. So when I come off the curl and I, it, and I see daylight, yeah, I know. I understand that because because you guys made my life much easier. Like I I I wouldn't be the top notch ball player that I was okay. if it wasn't because you guys. See, you know. I wasn't expecting to go here to week six, <laughs> but since we're here, let's talk it. Let's talk some ball. <laughs> You fucking uh, round mount of uh, no rebound having my Listen to me. I was I was I you know what first of all this is, you know what's funny about, let's start here. about my life career basketball. Nobody career. remembers you. Right? Yes. Nobody remembers you, so I know they don't remember your basketball game. No, this is, that's what's funny about this whole situation. What's that? You know, as my as my as my career I, I peaked in eighty six by the way. I was about 16 years old. South Bronx? Uh, no, 86, 86. Yeah, 86. I was in the South Bronx, actually. You in Rome? Um, um, and, yeah, 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 Jerome's just, <laughs> yeah, Jerome used to be my Robman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Outlet, outlet, kick it out. <laughs> so, you know, um, as as uh, time went by, uh, I was a slasher. You know, as time went by, my jump shot really, really, really... Uh, Came on its own. It was a. It was a beautiful. It was a thing of beauty. Was it really? Oh my God! Like 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 I. I would miss shots, Lou, just because I would admire my form, and I knew that. Chris, I, Chris right? let me let, let me explain something to you about rewind shooting. That. Rewind I'll, that. I'll rewind it. Marinate. I used to miss shots because I used to admire my form. No, just, but you. But, Beauty is a joy forever. Anybody that really plays <laughs> basketball, they would understand that the form comes after the release of the ball. There you go. Therefore, that means your shot was off before you even got into your form. Ahead of my time. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an ass. I was ahead of my time, Lou. Uh, I was ahead of my know, time. I, we, we will be putting some videos up of us playing basketball, but... wait. I got to get my hands on a video where you got your ass busted by that Jewish boy. Oh, whoa, 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 What's whoa. his name down the no, show? Hey, hey. The one-on-one -on -one game. No, no, I no. want people to see the essence of that jump shot that you're talking about. You know what? What's his name? Uh, Nathan? First of all. Nathan and Nathan, I think he had a handicap. What was it? No, it was, it was no handicap. He, he, he had the special plates. For I the was car. three. No, he was. I was 300 and <laughs> You're 40, full of shit. You are 300 pounds. pounds. I, was the, I was the heaviest size I've ever been in my yeah, life. You're lying. I was diabetic. I was I was pre pre seizure and all that shit. I had all that shit. Yeah, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, <laughs> dementia. I had all that. And he had gout on the left foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know what? I don't like that you brought that up. I did appreciate did, if you edit that out. When, don't, when you go no, to I'm not gonna edit that. That shit stays in there. <laughs> didn't Nate have an uh, artificial leg too? No, he did it, man. Oh, really? And by the way, Nate was like 20 years younger than me. So, Yo, that, I don't know. At least 20 years. Everybody's 20 years younger than you. We don't know the real age. I told you, I'm 40 seconds. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Talking about, street, 40. Talking about street ball. Talking about street Talking about street ball, man. I have some, you know, I, 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 I go on social media because it's entertaining. It, it'll be very, it, it, you know, very uh, much is. Me, personally, I use it, I use it to, to spread positive, uh, Positive love, positive messages, it's funny. funny messages. You keep on saying positive, po and all you do is taking shots at people. I, right? Not at all. Up on this podcast. This, see, that's the problem. You see, taking shots, and I'm telling you that uh, uh, it's 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 motivate. I'm motivating people. You see, see, this is the problem between an optimist and a pessimist. You, you oh. see, I, I throw words out there because. Uh, I got a friend who's a Bush enthusiast. He said I broke out the dictionary. I said no, 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 no. I can say a lot of words. I can't spell them, but I can say them. I know what they mean. So, so what you were saying? Going back to your your IG story. So, so, so I, you know, I, I put stuff out there uh -huh. positive. I make people laugh. But lately, a couple of weeks ago, um, uh, a local basketball young bo local local basketball player. I don't know if we should say his name. No, it's or okay. Not. I think we can say his name. Huh? We're, we're all cool with him, man. He, right. he has a good sense of humor. My man, Macho. Macho! <laughs> What's good, Macho? Macho, um, Macho, he takes basketball real street ball real Super seriously. Serious. You know, he's very competitive. He was on one of my championship teams, so. He, no way, he really? He brought Park when we won. No. Yeah, we won it the year with Macho. He was with us, yeah. Oh, yeah, but he was, he was, he, he, he played like three minutes. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't say, Macho, I didn't say all that. Yeah, but I he, just said he was on the that's, team. That's, wait a minute, that's, that's the reunion, but, but yeah, the reunion. he's not, see, this is the that thing. That was back in 2016. I'm going to have a conversation with Boom. 
Because there's, there's a lot of people playing the tournaments that shouldn't be playing there. That's a reunion. Boom, boom forgot you. That's why. He no, forgot no, no, that he no. was part of something. When, when I see Big Herc, oh. Harvey come for the woodwork, then I'm going to come and play. <laughs> y'all, y'all know real Paul, man. 360 BBC shows. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so there was a Sunset Park tournament. Uh, um, run by a, lo- a local a local young kid too. Who's that? Uh, um, th- th- Shout them out. What's I the name of the tournament? Th- th- uh, it's Sunset Park Ballers or Sunset Park something. Shout out Sunset Park Ballers. Big Al's uh, ref. Big it? Al's ref. Big Al, think, what's going on, brother? I think the kid uh, Chance, he, he runs it. Chance, I remember and, Chance. And uh, no, nah, Macho got really upset because in the championship game, I guess he didn't get the calls. He thought he deserved. Listen, as a star player, you got to get those. Calls. Look at Michael Jordan. See what you say. He star, lived. He see, lived off that. See, first of all, he see, wasn't a star player. No more. Team? No more drinking for you. Yeah. First of all, you don't put Macho and Michael Jordan in the same in the same sentence, Lewis. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. Macho's body work. Yeah, he's pulling. Big Lee. I still won't even. I still won't even. You know. So Macho was upset because he wasn't getting calls, uh-huh. and and then. <laughs> He, he called out the whole championship team that won. He called them out. He said, five hundred dollars. I'll play one on one. He was so upset. Really? Yeah, he was upset. So I'm over here. See, people don't know this, but I was over here DMing Macho. I said, Macho, they. Did. I was poking him. Macho, they did you dirty like that? Nah, nigga, you you better than that. You better than that. And two minutes later, I, he would post something. Yeah, and fuck this and fuck that. You all bums and this and that. And I'm like, holy shit. Wait a minute, I might be doing some, some good here. Yo, Mach. <laughs> but what happened? Nah, Chris, they, ah, they did you dirty again, Mach. Are you you're gonna play again? Nah, I'm not playing with that. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna write something. I'm not playing that dumb bum ass league ever again. And then I'm like, holy shit. I'm over here, you know, spiting, you know, poking them until, and he, he got he got really upset. Then I find out he averaged four points a game, and I'm like, no, <laughs> get the. Wait, no, no, no. But could they be the last four points in the fourth quarter? No, no. Those are key points. Then I read clutch, on, clutch, baby, I clutch, re- man. He I, takes the big shot. Well, there wasn't. There, see, that's the thing. He didn't win, so I don't know how clutch that was. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> how you complain? You know, when he said four points, he averaged four points. I'm like, holy. No, shit. he didn't say that. He did. I think he did. I he think said he, that he averages four points. Yeah. yeah how can I get? Or oh, maybe he said he got four points. Oh, that's what I say. Yeah, I think that's what he probably said. He probably he's used to scoring more points than that. Come on, much Mar- out the gate gonna give you four out the gate. Ball tips. You know, boom. You know, uh, I got. You know why? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm older now. See, this is the problem. So I gotta rely on Mach's young legs. <laughs> Here's the problem, see, I'm pointing out what he doesn't do, and you're hyping him up. You know, these kids these days, they don't need a yes man, they need the truth. And the truth is, he's not as good as he thinks he is. Wow. So we need to we need to have him work on his game. Motivation. What do you think he That's needs to work on? Right off the bat, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, not all of it. But, but that's a good thing. See, this is, this is a problem with you. You're looking at me, oh, Chris, you're an asshole. No, I'm actually doing him a service, man. See? I'm motivating that guy. Do you think it's because they're a younger generation, they use the participation trophies? Yeah, that's the thing, 110%. Everybody gets a participation trophy. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. I played basketball in Sunset for years, and I had Big Al, love him to death, but you know Big Al doesn't come all the way past half court. I don't blame so him. he doesn't see half the action. So if you're an inside player like Mach, you, you know, you're drawing a lot of contact. But let me explain Probably something. not getting those calls. Okay, but let me explain something they about call that. call Al eagle eye for nothing. Yeah, either. come on. <laughs> you don't need to cross half court. You know, what, what, what Al's going to tell you when you complain? Come on, son. <laughs> Man up, son. <laughs> Shout out to Big Al. <laughs> but my thing with that is also... Not that you guys saying that Al is bad, a bad. No, ref. Al's not a bad ref. But let me tell you something: if he doesn't run to half court for one team, I'm pretty sure he doesn't run for the other. Yeah, so it's, it's a e- even Al. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So see, I don't. First of all, in these leagues, I'm not counting on the refs. I'm counting on my skills. They didn't call me the Messiah for nothing. What, what, what parts were these? Well, Messiah was Orchard Beach. Or she, ooh, you know they ball over there for real. <laughs> Why do you think they call me the Messiah? Really? The Puerto Rican Jesus. Puerto Rican Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, the real Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> then, see, that's the thing. Then I come to Brooklyn, and then I'm the truth. I don't put these nicknames on me, Lou. Yeah, but, the people give me no, these No, no, but tell me more. I'm intrigued now. Well, what <laughs> yo, 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 
<laughs> what leagues are these? These are top of the West Fourth. What, no, no, no. You said, Brook, you said Brooklyn. Oh, I'm, I'm well, interested in hearing what leagues. Well, in the leagues, when I play in, 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 uh, in, the, in, the, fun, in the fun sport, uh, I play in the fun sport. You, you play in the fun sport and they call you the truth. The truth in swamp sport. Mr. Ricky Rivers. Shout outs, Rick, uh, Rick, Ricky Rivers. As a matter of fact. Fun sport basketball. I'm, 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 I'm translating. They used to call me La Verdad. You, you, you know I got Rick's number on my phone, right? You could call Rick right now. I could right call now. Rick right now. I'll, if Rick opens up his books, if he still has them, because I know Rick made big time already. If he still has those books, I'll be I'll be there. What years? What years? I'm just interested well, in you, you know, I, I, did, I did my damage in the 90s. I was on my way down. 90, but it's funny because Rick's... Rick, <laughs> what? Rick's Lee... When, did, when, when in the 90s? Well, late 90s. Oh, okay. Good answer. Yeah, Good answer. Know, you know... <laughs> You gave me time. You gave me time. Don't give me time. Don't give me time. Don't give me time. So you know, then you know. So so Brooklyn La Verdad and Orchard Beach. They call me the Messiah. Then in West Fourth, I was, and the thing with what happened with West Fourth is that I was uh, um, I wasn't even on my peak anymore. I was just I was going through emotions. That's what I was doing. But you still hurting them out there? It, 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 it was it was it was crazy. It was crazy. Cause I'm gonna tell you. You, that's a nice recap, okay, and, you, uh, and, I, and I and I and I got to give you kudos on a very good imagination. No, no, it's no imagination. Yeah. I, I don't even like that you're even saying that. But for, continue. So, from what I heard, right, okay. of your basketball uh, pedigree, career, whatever you want to call it, right. uh, you started off in the South Bronx as a handball champion. I did. I, I heard you. You I were did. a handball yes, champion. Yes, yes, eighty four, eighty four through eighty six. I give you that. I heard you used to play with the headband. You had the afro, looking like uh, Prince Marky e. D from the Fat Boys. Not afro, but I had the curls. You, you, had, had you curls. definitely had the curls. I, 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 I could see it in you. You had the yeah. curls. When you got over here, I heard you attempted to play basketball in Fort Hamilton. I did actually. And you were on. You were one of those guys who used to shoot hoops on the side. You were never on the main court. Actually, that's that, that. That's just what I'm hearing from the kids that oh, attend no, 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 no. school. We'll, 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 we'll put, put, put up a picture of me playing. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go, go, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, uh, right there, right there. Go back, right there, right there, right there. That's West Fourth Street. That's West Fourth Street. You see me right there, and the, and I the see bottom, behind, I bottom, see behind the fence, bottom left, behind the fence with the, the McDonald's left, bag. I'm letting the ball go. I dropped 45 <laughs> that day. 45, <laughs> four five, Michael, my, 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 MJ, come back. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, sorry to interrupt you, but you know what it is? I, I did play handball. I see, the, the thing with me is I, I, I was blessed. I still am. <laughs> you gotta talk your yo, shit. What's going on? You gotta talk your shit. I'm just listening. Listen, when it's jokes, it's jokes. When we're talking serious, no, it's no, serious. No, no, you say you're blessed. Go ahead, I, was, I, am, I was blessed. I was a multi sport athlete, Lewis. Like a baseball, a 3 2 athlete? <laughs> oh, you know, you know. I played baseball, and you you see you see you see me all playing baseball, and you and you see how how I carry myself. You, you you just don't you just don't you can't fake the funk when it comes. I could talk the talk, but when when it comes when you see me on the battlefield, that's when you know. Wait a minute, so this guy's the rule, the truth. You're a Puerto Rican, Bo Jackson. I I think if I put if I if I if I if I accept that, I'm taking a step down. Really? Yeah, so Bo Jackson was only two sports, though. Re- oh, okay, okay. I played handball, uh-huh. regional champ. I played, <laughs> I played, I played, I played, I played baseball. I played, uh, I played uh, basketball. My first love was was baseball, man. Really? Yeah, Lou. You know, and 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 I go through the motions. I play, I play, I play football. I, you know, I was, I was a tight end. Uh, at the beginning of my career, at the end, they moved me to quarterback because my, my precision passing was really, really good. Really? Yeah. Y- y- you know, it is what it is, Lewis. You know. Uh, um, you have a little Donovan Mc- McNabb in you. You look like you with the ball head. You remind me of Donovan. Well, you know McNabb. what? I have a problem that you're you're only you're only comparing me to black athletes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you mix it in? I'm sorry. Can you mix uh, uh, some, Spa- some Spanish people, but, 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 some white people? But, but Ramon Ramos. Oh, Ramon, Ramon, Ramon. <laughs> that post move is good. You know, <laughs> you're quick to give Macho Picurín, but you can't say I'm Carlos Arroyo? Carlos Arroyo was a stick. But Baran, Baran, you know, just, you know. Baran, Baran's like 5'2". No, but you know, the tenacity, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you're looking at size. See, there's a problem. You, I'm looking down the block, Lou. You're looking right, you're looking two feet. There's a problem, see. My, you know, and, and, and. 
You you Google me. You can Google me, and you'll find there's a lot of stuff. Hey, well, can we can we try that? Let's Google him. All right, let, let's well, see. I, I, you you really want to put your criminal records up? No, no, don't put the criminal records up. See, I, I don't think my Google is updated, but but <laughs> maybe for the you next, know what's crazy is everybody's maybe for, <laughs> maybe for next, maybe for next week we can we can we can we'll learn something out. And, and on that note, I'm, on that note, I'm gonna leave that right there. Chris's legends. So um. I want to say thank you to everybody for supporting, and uh, we uh, we love the support that we're getting so far. Uh, one of the things I, I do want you guys to do is to support us on YouTube. That's uh, the Chris and Lou show. We have videos up, um, and we're planning to put some more videos up, some more, some more um, what you call it, photos and things of that nature. And uh, please drop us a line. Give us some um, feedback. Some feedback. Give us some ideas for the show. Some things that you may be interested in hearing. Um, before I go, though, I know Willie had some um, some thought on characters that maybe we could be introducing for the show. Um, no, all right. No, no, just keep just keep in tune for the characters that are coming out. Yeah, we'll we'll have a couple of characters that uh that you know local characters that you guys will be pleased to hear from uh, our uh, coming up. Uh, very entertaining characters. Chris, uh, anything you want to add before we... L- please leave the sports shit alone. No, 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 no sports please. shit. Uh, um, uh, We're going to go outside and do a three-man first, week? For the first, for the first 300 uh, subscribers to the podcast, <laughs> I got a gift. I'm not, I'm not going to say, drop a line. I'm not going to say what the gift is until, you know, drop a line. on. Until we get 300. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get first 300 subscribers, drop a line. No, but who's going to get it, though? Huh? The, the 300? I'm going to give it to all 300. To all three hundred, yeah. you heard that. Yeah, his name is Chris Soto. I will be on the next podcast. I'll give you his social. I'll whoa, give you his direct line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, this is not false advertising. I, from the first three hundred subscribers, I'm gonna give him. Uh, 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 I have a special something for all three hundred. Wow. Look you at know. this guy. This guy is generous. I, I, I came in today. I he, do he, what I do. He, he blew up the budget. We got a board op guy. Yeah. And by the next way, week, next week we're gonna have um, live we, streaming too, right? We're gonna put. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna record. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna start recording uh, on on YouTube. We're gonna start putting up these uh, live our uh, live feeds, our, our live uh, live uh, shows. shows. And uh, who's Mimi Rivera? That's your mom. Your mom. All right, that's it. We'll leave right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just, I just, I just. Yeah. I just <laughs> You know that that is a good podcast. We should have one day just mama jokes. I, I got a lot that I forgot to uh, discard over the years. I, I'm with it, and hopefully, the kids these days they they'll 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 get a little bit of taste of 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 what what ha- what 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 good what joking it? is. What was it like? And early no, 90s, and no, in 90s. early nineties, late eighties for some of us. You know, and it's it's just, and maybe they'll maybe listen. I'm trying to reach people here. No, and listen, this is the platform, and we hope that um, we hope something comes out of this. If there's anything, maybe that might be it that the kids can see how it was and uh, probably appreciate it and maybe uh, have, so, have have a little change of mindset. Yeah. Not, all you, you want to do is tweak the mindset. I'm very big. By the way, this is an upcoming upcoming episodes. I'm very big on psychology and mindset mindsetting, and. I just gave away part of the gift right there, guys. First 300 <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> How at you, boys? Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Later. What do you thought? What do you guys thought? It was. It was. It was. It was. I, I, I liked it, I liked it, I liked yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, you really lied on the fucking stats, I though. Didn't fu- you know people who are going to hear this, they're they going to know. Go- they could Google me, Lewis. I, no. I didn't lie no stats. And first of all, I don't like listen, the way you... Fat you fuck. Listen, 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 I don't like the way you take shots at me when we're live. <laughs> Yo, so I, I just want to hear about your first game against... Yo, didn't he catch Mulberry. a fucking... Mar- 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 you didn't play with Marbury because I, I played with no, no, Marbury. No, no. I, 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 um, you Mar- played with Pearl Washington, no? I, I, actually, believe it or not... Uh, <laughs> Bernard King. I, I Bernard gave, King. I gave, yo, I, 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 yo, you giving away I gave, your age. Son. I gave, How are you gonna say Bernard King? I gave Bernard King. No, 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 no. I was. I you, gave, you gave him a foul. You no, didn't, no, that's no. all you were gonna give. No, him. no, no. I, I guarded him, but I was like in junior high when, when he was in high school. So you know, I was uh, young junior high, like sixth grade. Yeah. And he was. He was in tenth grade or ninth grade, and uh, you know, we did. You know, I, they, they told me hey, I need you to guard this guy. I guarded him, but I don't like that you. I don't like. Listen, look. If we're gonna continue on with this podcast here. You can't be. They're throwing shots at me and 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 and, and, and not believing. That I speak the truth. I know Listen, my truth. That's why they call you the truth. Exactly. I know my truth. Where's your press clippings? 
Show me some papers. Show me something. You didn't get write-ups in the papers. All the time. All right, so we just pull them out. Louis, I, 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 still got, I still got my press conference. Yeah, because... Yeah, right? you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, let me tell you something about clippings. All they do is that the government keeps taps on you. So just keep that in mind. I didn't want nothing, nobody writing about me because I knew where I was heading in life. Hey, did you, did you have the same social? No, Ooh. my social has changed a few times. 